Hey guys, my name is Sarah Beth and I'm the founder and CEO of With The Band. Especially in times like these, we believe that our music community is more important than ever. And that's why we wanted to introduce you to some of the fans behind your favorite fan accounts. Hi, I'm Roisin MP, and I am a big Miley Cyrus fan. Well, she became popular in 2006, which was literally more than half my life ago. Like, I remember the commercials before it came out, and like I was a really big Hilary Duff fan already. So I was like, oh yeah, another show. And I just, something about her, like I just connected, I guess. I really... I mean, I was still a kid and Miley was a kid during that time. And so it was just someone that you could look up to, I guess. 14. So I went to her Best of Both Worlds tour. I went to the Wonder World tour and then I went to the Bangers tour. So the Hannah Montana one, tickets were selling out in six seconds. My soccer coach won two pairs. So he gave them to me and my parents. I really like stay and drive. What are the cons of having so many people watch your life? Everywhere you go, people are taking pictures. Fans, paparazzi, people who have granddaughters who like you. And because when you're a teenager, you know, every single flaw you already like point out and are so self-conscious about it and then blow that up times a million. I just like that everyone forgets their problems and they just bond over their music and they're just, they don't care about your political party, they don't care about your favorite color, they don't care about how much money you make, you know, everything's forgotten at the door and you're just loving the one artist and their songs for whatever reason you may interpret their music to mean to you. Try to absorb it all and it's like, ugh, I just love that feeling of just like almost like everything seems unreal. Maddie, when I actually met her through her liking of Miley. We went to the Jonas Brothers together too. She likes a lot of like indie artists and she likes pop music and she likes rap music. So she's down for anything. I was probably just a bored teenager. I don't know, it's kind of just like a community that you belong to. Like everyone needs that one place where they can vent and not be judged as much. Like, I don't know, people have like clubs at school or, you know, I played soccer and places like that. So just having that group of people who are pretty supportive and share the same interests. I think it was because when I made my account, I was posting something a lot of people weren't. Like I was posting like throwback photos and videos and you know, nostalgia definitely sells. And I think that's like why I started my account was because I like it. And so I decided to share it. And you know, not a lot of people at the time were doing that. And I was on with my account before Miley was on Instagram. I thought it was a joke <laughs> and I kept clicking on her profile to make sure it was her and I remember like when I get excited like I feel like I can't breathe and like I have to get up and walk walk around and <laughs> I was just I couldn't believe it at the time and she follows a lot of fan accounts now but at the time I was like you know one of the first 10 accounts she had followed so like that's something special to me because she was very selective all the albums in the world that is so hard niall horn's new album heartbreak weather i really really love that one right now and then can't be tamed obviously is like my go-to if i'm happy if i'm sad whatever i'm gonna say britney spears debut album like that's just a go-to okay so obviously miley cyrus and then I know Nick is her ex, but I would do the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> and then 
The last one, either Britney Spears or Hilary Duff. Ooh. Okay, well, I just went to the Jonas Brothers Happiness Begins, and I was front row, and I went with my friend, one of them, and then I went with my coworker to the other one, and I think that's probably my favorite because it was my first front row, but then second would be bangers. Like, if someone's watching who's, like, debating if they should make it or not, like, I'm in my 20s now, and I still manage to make money, I graduated college, like, you know, don't make it a priority, but if it's something that makes you happy every now and then, go for it. Thank you so much for watching. We are so excited to have you as a part of our wonderful fan community. If you're a super fan or know a super fan who would want to be interviewed, make sure to comment below. Hope you all have a great rest of your day in quarantine.